is the laser alarm <laughs> that you just saw in action. <laughs> um, I know it looks complicated, but wait, don't ditch yet because this is actually a really simple alarm compared to um, other ones on I've seen on YouTube. Enjoy. For this build, you're gonna need a breadboard, some assorted resistors, an SCR, which is basically a transistor, except it stays on once you trigger it, a few wires. Batteries, can be any type, and a buzzer, and a variable resistor. Click your SCR into the breadboard with the circular side facing you. Now click your photoresistor into the gate of the SCR. I messed up here, so I could put it into the cathode accidentally. Click a resistor with at least 10k OHMs into one side of the photoresistor. Click the other side into the ground. Connect the gate of the SCR to a strip elsewhere on the breadboard with a wire. Now connect the resistor that has the same value as the first resistor you put in to the other side of this wire. Now click in your variable resistor into the other side of the resistor you just put in. Wire the other side into the positive. Using a wire, connect the anode of your SCR into the positive of your breadboard. Hook up the positive side of your buzzer into the cathode of the SCR. I recommend that you replace the second resistor you installed with your second photoresistor. This is so that your circuit automatically tunes to different lighting instead of having to manually tune it every time with the variable resistor. I forgot to mention that the resistance of the first resistor I installed has to be within the range of resistances that the variable resistor can uh, produce. For example, if my variable resistor can produce 10,000 to 20,000 OHMs, then my normal resistor should be within that, say, 15,000 OHMs. In order for a circuit to work, you're probably going to have to tune it. Just turn the variable resistor until it works. So in order for you to troubleshoot, you need to actually understand um, a little bit about how the circuit works. And uh, this is my uh, stupid, retarded looking <laughs> schematic that I tried to make it more understandable. And uh, so basically, you have your uh, positive here, ground. Uh, the SCR is the main component of this. Uh, so you have the anode, the cathode, and the gate. I might have gotten the anode and cathode mixed up, I don't know. Leave, leave a comment if I'm wrong. Uh, the SCR is, is basically a switch that when is triggered, it stays on. Unlike a transistor, which can be turned off by uh, killing the voltage to the, to the gate this stays on now um <clears throat> that's the yeah and so basically when it turns on it uh the electricity flows through the buzzer and to the ground it gets triggered by the photoresistor here and the easiest way to think of this is so you have the variable resistor here and the photoresistor which sets the ambient light which is uh the light not your laser, but the light around it, which will affect um, the triggering point of your circuit. So you have the um, so you have this. It's trying to trigger the SCR, but your photoresistor, when the laser shining through it, there's less resistance and um, it lets more negative through. And the easiest way to think about it is it basically just makes this more negative, so it makes this um, not trigger and that's what your uh, variable resistance is for, so you can tune that triggering point. But your uh, photoresistor is also going to do that, but it just does it automatically. The variable resistance, you have to manually tune it. The reset switch basically just hooks up the ground to the, to the positive. So, uh, so basically, when you uh, click it, it shorts out the whole circuit momentarily. Uh, I know it sounds bad, but it doesn't really matter and resets your uh, SCR. You'll see that when I point the laser away from the diode, the alarm obviously turns on. But when I put it back onto the diode, it doesn't turn off. This means the circuit's working fine. But why hook it up to a lame buzzer when you can make a...